had a kidney transplant a year and a half ago, and I'm doing this trip to try to encourage more people to uh, become organ donors. I've always thought a lot about how water works. The water in the oceans uh, or in big lakes gets, uh, it, you know, it gets warmed up by the sun and evaporates, it rises into the sky, and, and you know, it rains, uh, uh, you know, over the, the land somewhere and returns the water back up into the mountains, it runs down through all the streams and back out to the ocean. That's a lot like how our kidneys work and our body works. The heart pushes the, the blood through our systems and the kidneys, just like the oceans, uh, actually end up cleaning the blood. Now, the difference is that if our bodies are working right, we can expel the waste. The poor ocean can't. It, it all connects for me. I was on dialysis for about a year. Um, it was three days a week, four hours at a time. Most of the days I was pretty wiped out and I just felt horrible all the time. And it got to the point after a while where I could barely sometimes walk up a flight of steps without stopping halfway. Um, just everything was a struggle to do. Um, all of my energy was focused on, uh, on just getting through every day. I never wanted to be identified by my illness, and I think having, having art um, was a very good means of expanding my whole, my whole life. I waited uh, almost six years for my second transplant. One of the things that having this illness taught me was in the process of slowing down the very ordinary things in my life did become extraordinary. Organ donation can happen to anybody. We got that call one morning that no parent wants. You need to come New York, to New York right away. Your daughter collapsed in the gymnasium before work and she's on life support system. So we packed up, went right to New York and we held her hand for five days hoping she would wake up and then one morning the doctor came in and said uh, I think your daughter, I think Krista passed away last night and he asked us if we had considered organ and tissue donation and we said no we've been holding her hand hoping she'd wake up and uh, but I remembered that in the state of Pennsylvania you can decide to put it on your driver's license so Chrissy got her purse out, we looked and she had made that decision for us and so, uh, two days later, she donated her organs. She saved five lives. Uh, she gave sight to two people through corneal transplants. She donated two patches of skin to the New York Firefighter Skin Bank. And uh, we're proud of her for making that decision. Two years ago, we went to the 2010 transplant games in Wisconsin, in Madison, Wisconsin and we met our daughter's lung recipient, and her name is Christy Hart. And Christy was someone that uh, was not unable to go upstairs because she couldn't walk the steps. It was too much of a task for her. She, was in, she had to leave the, shower, the door open in her bathroom when she took a shower because she would be overcome by the moisture. So she received Christy's lungs, and at the Madison, at, in Madison at the transplant games, she walked the 5K after two years, after two years of having these new lungs. And she has a whole new life. We've also received letters from Krista's uh, liver recipient mm -hmm. and also from the gentleman that received her pancreas. And their lives have just changed dramatically. When I got the, the transplant, um, that, I noticed a difference really, really in 48 hours, mm -hmm. but six months into it, I was really starting to feel good. And now my energy level is just like 
ridiculously mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. uh, it's off the charts. Mm -hmm. People suffer in silence. Yes. You know, out of every 100 people that pass away, only two of them have the opportunity to donate organs because they died in a hospital setting on a life support system. They died what is known as brain death. Most people die of cardiac death, and they basically don't have the opportunity to donate their organs. They can donate tissue. So half of the organs that could be used are either incinerated or buried in the ground. So our goal is to try and increase that number. They've made marvelous achievements in the field of transplanting where people should not have to be waiting as long. Because for many, it's, it's, it, it truly is, it's, it's transforming. Um, it's transformed my life.